Jeff the God. We're going to give one of these guys their first belt here tonight in the Madden NFL 20 Challenge as we kick it away one more time from Pizza Hut Stadium. And Noah will take it from the 19-yard line and safely get out of bounds at the 29. I'm excited to see this open and drive, Scott. Noah averaging nine yards a carry coming into this tournament from online ladder play. That was number one out of the entire field where you had Clef. He had the number two run defense out of everybody coming into this. He was only allowing 29 yards a game on the ground. So I'm interested to see who is going to be able to impose their will here in this championship game. $35,000 on the line, and more importantly, that Madden Challenge belt that you see right there on your screen. Noah will be the Eagles. Clef the God will be the Buccaneers. But remember, this is mutt draft mode, so they went through 24 rounds to select who are going to be the players that really make their offense go. That's an important statement to make, Scott. You get questions all the time. If you go back and look at the chat, he's the Eagles. Where's Carson Wentz? Where's Alshon Jeffrey? No, these are not playing with the exact Eagles or the exact Tampa Bay Buccaneers. These guys are playing in the mud draft mode like Scott said, where they draft that team and you saw some of that when we went through the rosters earlier. Here's a list of belt winners that got it done for the first time here in the challenge. Including our own serious moment. All the way back, it's here in San Francisco, down in the Mosaic, downtown during Super Bowl 50 when he won his first belt. Scott Cole, RG along with you as we get it going on second and five. And that Chris Johnson, he's been the really the catalyst for Noah. He will run it time and time again, hoping to break free. And we've seen Noah go to this Chris Johnson in these third down situations where you may expect someone to pass third and four. Look for him to keep it on the ground here. And if he doesn't get the first down, he may go for it on fourth down again. So third and four. And the opening drive here for Noah. Mariota goes up under center. I formation. Chris Johnson will dot the eye. Brings Hollywood Brown. In motion, he hands it off to Chris Johnson. First down, a little bit more. And they'll mark him down in the 45-yard line. And Noah so effective with that halfback dive. You see him just run right up that A-gap, almost went to the cripple. Clough able to make the tackle, but new set of downs for young Noah, the 17-year-old from Columbia, Maryland. So first and 10 at the 45. We'll get to these guys' Super Bowl predictions here in a moment. Maybe that'll sway this heavily 49er crowd out here in Redwood City. And that'll be a gain of two. What do you got on these predictions? So out of the field of 16 players, only four of them picked the 49ers to win. One of those four was Noah, and his prediction was he had the 49ers 31 nothing. Wow. That's what he was thinking about. Yeah, the crowd, you can react to that. We're in San Francisco. Clef, he went with the Chiefs. Oh, boy. 31 28. So, oh. We like our guy, Patty Mahomes. And Johnson will get to the 43 yard line. And so he just keeps it on the ground. Five carries, 27 yards. But more importantly, it's a first and 10. He's just a po imposing his will. Clef knows exactly what's coming. You know he's going to Chris Johnson, especially early on in the downs. And Noah just continues to pick up chunks of yards, move the chains. If you're Clef, you really got to look to blow him up here on first down, force him into some of those long, sit long down situations. And look at Clef, he's in goal line. And just bumbling his way through to the 42. Not much there for Chris Johnson. He's going to bring up a second and nine. How about this adjustment from Clef right there on a first down at midfield? Clef comes out in a goal line personnel. You think he's about to commit to stop the run? I mean, that tells you something. He's back in his 3 4. Already three minutes gone by here in the opening quarter here in the Madden NFL 20 Challenge. Great Super Bowl weekend. So we're here in San Francisco, as we mentioned, with the big game tomorrow in Miami. And he lost a yard there. Here comes a third and nine. And if you're a 
run first kind of guy. This is not the down and distance you want to be in. Get the little fellas out there in the front row. Join the action. Some potential Madden 36 champions in the front row. Kittle, work his way back across the formation. And he'll run it once again. Come on. And here comes work down. Decision time. Kind of no man's land right now at the 41. We have a situation here, folks. Fourth down early on in the game. And this is a big possession. Remember, they're only playing five-minute quarters. We're almost at the end of the first quarter right here. This game goes by quickly. So this is huge early on. Fourth down for Clef. Can he come up with the stop or will Noah stay clutch? This is huge. Noah's got to get to the 28-yard line or so. Make that the 33. Mariota trying to buy time. Heisel chunk it up. Come on, man. It's a sack. It's a turnover on downs. And Clef the God's going to get it near midfield. I know exactly what happened there, Scott. Noah was looking for his block and release route for his tight end. And he was wait he's been so successful with that all tournament long. He was waiting for the tight end to release off his block. He just didn't do it in time. And Clef gets the huge sack. Is now in complete control, getting the stop, has the ball at midfield, and can go take a lead. And when you get a lead and you get the ball at, to start the half, that is a remedy to win Madden games. Love's been pretty balanced offensively here throughout the tournament. You'll see him put it in the air, but he's not afraid to hand it off to Freeman, the speedster. I thought James made a really good point at the top of the show. He said, Noah hasn't been able to win a game where he hasn't forced turnovers. Well, I'll tell you what, nobody wins the turnover battle like Clef. He's number one in takeaways per game, number four in giveaways, and when it comes to tur turnover differential, Clef is leading the pack at number one. So when you got a guy in Clef that knows how to force turnovers and he doesn't give the ball away often. It's the voice of RG, who's part of the development team for EA Sports. Down at Tiburon in Orlando, Florida. And on the first play for Clef, he picks up three yards on the ground with Freeman. And that takes us to the second quarter. It is 0-0. I'm not expecting it to stay that way for long. Jameis will slide down at the 44, a gain of four. So here comes a third and short. With these base kickers, they need to get somewhere between the 35 and 38 yard line, if that gives you an idea to have an opportunity at a field goal. Winston, standing in the pocket. And Cooper Cup spins his way. He's near the marker. He's going to pin on the spot. And he's well short. Here comes a fourth and two, and he wants to use tempo. Yeah, he's going hurry up offense right here, Scott. And now we got another big fourth down. Big play after big play. Early on in this championship game, and Clef's going to burn a T.O. And think about this. 3.58 to go in the half already. Ball at the 43. Noah took up a majority of that first quarter. Clef the God coming up on a huge stop on fourth down. And now this is his opening drive. Needs two here on fourth down. We've seen players take shots in this situation, Scott. Everyone's playing everything underneath, and then they give up the big play. He'll go to Cup once again, and he just gets the first down. He'll mark him at the 40-yard line, but that continues the drive. Nice read by Clef, and you saw the click on, click on by Noah. As soon as Cooper Cup catches that ball, Noah clicks onto that DB, makes the user tackle, but just a few frames too late as Clef was able to pick up the first down, keep the chains moving, and the drive stays alive. So a new set of downs at the 40-yard line, taking his time. As you mentioned, he'll receive the ball to start the second half, so if he can punch it in here with a few ticks left, that's the goal. Goes to Freeman. Freeman cuts it back. Brought down at the 34-yard line, two carries for 10 yards. For Clef. Oh, Clef's eyes got wide on that one. You saw some running lanes open up. It looked like Freeman was about to get on his horse. 
but Noah able to make the tackle. But Clef looking good so far on this drive. Moving the chains, now has himself in field goal range. See if he can keep it going. Shotgun formation one more time. Trips to the right side here on a second and three. Winston hands it off to Freeman. Freeman gets a block to the outside. A little stop and go, and he's inside the red zone. And even the crowd recognizes the stick work of Clef the God. Hits the run lane, getting a little icky with Freeman. And now he's in the red zone. Knocking on the door, looking to get the first touchdown in this championship game as he hydrates with some H2O. Already at the two-minute warning. If you blinked, you missed it so far. 0-0. Zero, zero. Clef, though, threatening down here at the 12-yard line. Can Noah come up with a stop? Winston, back in the gun here on first and 10 from the 12. Barking out the audibles. Goes to the run game. Stretch it outside and it's a shoestring tackle by Thompson. And he's gonna lose three yards. That's Noah showing his defensive stick work, getting in the gap, making the user tackle for a loss. And now putting Clef in a second and 13. Noah nope. does use a timeout here. That'll stop the clock. 1.57 to go in the half. He's hoping to get it back. Winston. Got to use his legs. Oh, and Fletcher Cox almost pulled the ball out of there. But somehow Winston holds on. Big Fletch trying to make a play right there. Got his hands on Winston. Trying to rip the ball out. Clef fortunate. His quarterback was able to hold on to that one, and here we go. What do you know? Another big play at third and 11, because if Clef doesn't catch this, he's going to have to settle for three. Still can get a first down. Down near the goal line. And he goes across the middle, and it's picked off by Amos. Go get seven. The former Bear current Packer picks it up. Go get seven. And they'll mark it out, out the 20-yard line after the INT. The one thing you couldn't do if you oh. cleft the God in the red zone, you got to get yourself some points, and then you test the elite stick work of Noah. He gets the interception and then lets you hear about it. This kid's got ice in his veins. Chris Johnson trying to go along the left edge here. If you're just joining us, you're watching the Madden NFL 20 Challenge just outside of San Francisco here at EA headquarters. And they're playing Mutt Draft, which means they drafted their teams. Easiest way to explain it is think about fantasy football. Third and three. Ball at the 27. Still has a timeout. 118 to go in the half. Yeah, Clef, you can get all kinds of momentum with a stop here, force a punt, give yourself a chance for a drive before the end of this half. 45, 45, 45, Mike, 45. Hollywood Brown comes in motion. Gets it to Chris Johnson, he finds a lane! All that speed, will they catch him? Nope, by Felicia, touchdown Noah! How about the stick work of Noah? We told you coming hey, into this. Up, Chris on. Johnson make likely the... Someone make a play. Look at him still talking. Likely the MVP of this entire tournament. Go Noah gives him. it to him with about a him. minute and a half. Go get him. And CJ goes to the Come crib. On. And shows you what all the buzz has been about. Come on, man. Hit him. Let's take a look at it one more time. Snickers replay getting sticky. And that's 93 speed on that Chris Johnson. Fastest player on the field. And you think Noah's pumped up about it? I'm surprised he still has a voice. He's been talking for the last three days, trying to put some respect on his name. Clef, he won't be shook. And there is Tyreek Hill. We call that a dot. It was a laser from Clef. 
from Winston. But every time you put the ball in the air against this Noah, it's scary because he clicks onto those defenders lightning fast and is able to make tons of plays. We saw it on the user interception, but nonetheless, big game for Clef. Winston once again. Same route, same result. All the way down to the 29, stops the clock, still has that one timeout in its pocket. There's Tyreek Hill. And Clef said it when he drafted Tyreek Hill. This guy's won me a lot of money in Madden football. Hoping that he can win him just a bit more, $35,000 more. And I'm impressed by Clef. You, you let up the touchdown after throwing the pick. You, you lose all the momentum, but here you are, marching right back down the field with under a minute left in this half. Oh, oh. good hit, boy. Are you telling me Jameis Winston threw, in a, threw an interception? Say it ain't so. 30 for 30. Go Second ahead, and seven, it's a sack, the ball is loose. Come on, man. And one of the big guys up front jumped on it. And this is getting close to the final play of the half. Runs it with Freeman, very smart. He'll lay down. When most people would throw it, he runs it, hoping to get these three points. Playing the long game is Clef right there, knowing that the touchdown probably out the question. Goes to the run so he can get himself in field goal range, set himself up for this three. And the kick is up, and it is good. So Clef gets on the board with two seconds to go in the half. You see some youngsters out there, a little Patty Mahomes action. She got the Super Bowl tomorrow. The Pats aren't playing, so I can ask you, who do you got? I got the Niners. Yeah. Going with the 49ers. Niners follow me on social media, so that's a, that's a plus for the Niners. But something about maybe I'm rooting a little bit for Andy Reid. It's a good story either way. I, I got to find myself somewhere in the middle. In this one, it is seven to three. Noah's got the lead over Clef the God here at the half. Let's check in with James. Thank you, Scott Cole. Make sure your EA account is linked to your Twitch account to receive Twitch drops for a chance to score up to two challenge exclusive legends. A Net 92 OVR Deion Sanders and a Net 92 OVR Devin Hester. Always nice to have a little Hester, maybe a little prime time on your Mutt squad. All right, before we get you back to your final, both of our players wired up for sound, so let's listen to our latest edition of Audible. D! Come on, man! Give me that! Come on, man! Let's go! We need that! Go get seven! Go get seven! Come on, man! Let's go! Touchdown! Let's go! Come on, man! One stop! Come on! Let's go! CJ 2K, man! Come on, man! <laughs> Love it, man. Uh, be sure to tune in to ESPN2 on Sunday, February 9th at noon for a fast-paced one-hour special devoted to the Madden NFL 20 Challenge. The show will be jam-packed with the most memorable moments, exclusive interviews, and behind-the-scenes access. That is Sunday, February 9th at noon Eastern on ESPN2. Oh, man, look at the little kids in the crowd, man. They're just enjoying themselves. Look at these kiddos. Is that, a, is that a future Noah in there somewhere? Is that a future Clef to God somewhere in that mix? Oh, man. All right, let's get you back to action. The second half kickoff underway. We're going to send you back to Scott Cole and RG. Thank you so much, James. Well, buddy, one more half for us. We've called 11 of these. 11 of 17. That's not bad. I got 15, though. You only oh, got 11. Go kill him. Come you got to throw that him. in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why you're the GOAT, though. That's why you're the GOAT, Scott. Scott Cole, RG with you. Yeah, I didn't call the first one with Sirius Mo won. I was holding the trophy in the back when that game went into overtime. And then you called the final out in the first ever club championship when K. Mike won it. And then they wised up and started putting us together. Freeman to the outside. Little stop and go. Mark Barron, can he get off the block? No! Tight ropes down to the 32. What a way to start the half. 
You want to talk about stick work? You want to talk about high-level Madden? Let's talk about Clef the God handing it off to Devonta Freeman, bobbing and weaving, stopping and going. He gets a big game, brings it into Noah territory. And if you're Clef, you would love to open up this drive with a touchdown. Get yourself some momentum to start this second half. Winston. Clef, watch out. Down he goes. It's going to be a loss of three. Going to bring up second and 13. And sometime when no one's open, that's not a bad thing to take that sack. I'll tell you, Noah has that laser-focused look, man. This is a young man that just seems to be on a mission. Most people would be intimidated by Clef the God going up against such a big name. Not this young 17-year-old from Maryland. Outside of Andre Reed and the legend. Picks up the first down inside the red zone at the 19. Clef Trailing by four here, RG. I was going to say, Clef has a pretty balanced attack that we're seeing. We've seen him be able to go to the air, mix in some Devonta Freeman, where Noah, you know, primarily just getting it done on the ground. But you like to see this from Clef. Try to keep your opponent off balance. Mixing up this run in the pass out of this gun tray Y flex formation. And Freeman, well, lose a yard. You said earlier, Clef the God looked like he might be training in Rocky IV. Got That's what I said. He looked like he's getting ready to train to go fight Drago. Whatever's working for you, though. Well, he's in a battle right now. These two fighting it out in a 7-3 ball game. They've had a lot of finals, and they've been, for the majority, very close. Second and 11. Had a lot of games coming out. The final play, and there is that Tyree kill. But Lattimore says, no, sir. Noah has done this all tournament long. Against a normal Madden player, that's a completed pass. Going maybe to the crib, at least for a first down. Noah clicks onto defender, use a hit stick to knock the ball loose. Noah's got stick work on defense. Third and 11. Get Quick throw out. again. Come on, good job, laddie. And that's good coverage on the outside once again by Lattimore, who's everywhere right now. I love his nickname for Lattimore, Laddie. And Josh Scobie, the former Jacksonville Jaguars kicker, will be mad at us. But he does settle for three once again. We once called the game with Josh Scobie. We, we said settle for three. He lost it. He lost it. He said, you don't settle for three, you take three. <laughs> So sorry, Josh. He's broken like a true place kicker, no doubt about it. We got a one-point ball game here. 3.04 to go in the third. And Noah's going to have it one more time. He'll hand it off to Chris Johnson. And he'll fall forward for the first down out of the 38. He's already gone over 100 yards, 129 for the game. This eye form tight, halfback dive stretch combo is just so much for everyone to deal with. You know it's coming, but can you stop it? And so far, the answer has been no. Coming up on 225 as you see the runoff. Second and seven. Ball at the 41. And Chris Johnson looking for another running lane. He finds it. Out near midfield at the 48. Let's go ahead and move the chains. First and 10. Noah just imposing his will with this run game time and time again. If you're cleft, you got to start to make some plays with that user defender. Shoot some gaps. Tackle him in the backfield. Lay some hit sticks of your own. And a little aggressive here on defense. Bring some guys down in the box here on first and 10. Oh, poor man. Help him out. And Vander Esch just got taken for a ride. That's five yards. Look at little man with the selfie. We see you, buddy. <laughs> so we got a seven to six ball game. Noah trying to drive down here in a touchdown, but it still would be a one score game. Unless he went for two. And we've seen that too. That's diabolical. I think we've seen him run a two-point conversion in the last three days. 
And Chris Johnson getting to the second level one more time. Now he's down to 39, just outside field goal range. This style of Madden that Noah is playing, it's, it's just so grindy. It'll tilt you as his opponent because he's just slowly moving the chains and just milking this clock, limiting your possessions. If you're wondering at home, you're like, man, I need this playbook ASAP, ASAP. He's in the Denver playbook. And in Mutt Draft, that's the mode they're playing right now. You, if you pick the head coach, pick Denver, you get both their offensive and defensive playbooks as Chris Johnson once again. Man, that first five yards was by in a blink. Picked up seven. And look at this. He's going to milk it to the fourth quarter. Just 40 seconds off of the play clock every time. For 17 years old, his clock management is immaculate. At the end of three. Seven to six. Between Noah and Clef the God, we just got five minutes remaining with our fourth quarter presented by Snickers. I dig because my son still lives with us. My 32-year-old part-time DJ son. Well, there's the Snickers Players Lounge. We got some champs in there. And some guys that have just come up a little short uh, these last couple days. And I know they certainly wanted to win this belt because there is a long history with the Madden Challenge. What does this tournament mean to you, Archie? It's everything. This is where we all started. Look at that, 2003, you got untouchable. Sandman, legends like Big Gene, Problem, Dynasty. I mean, the list goes on and on. Serious Mo Trini. And Kurtobin won it last year, but the question is, who will it be? Will it be Noah? Will it be Clef the God on that list of long legends when it comes to Madden? They got five minutes, and right now Noah is taking every bit of that clock, and Clef certainly looks frustrated. I don't think Clef gets frustrated, though, Scott. Like I said, he is an elite-level competitor. It's got to tilt a normal player a little bit, but look at him. He is focused at the task at hand, ready to rock. The question is, will he be able to make the play that he needs to to you get guess, the momentum back? I mean, you hold him to a field goal here. You're right where you want to be with maybe a guap drive to take the belt. And Chris Johnson will weave his way through the 28-yard line. Boy, when that item popped up in his draft, he knew he had the best running back in the whole pool. 93 speed, the legend, CJ2K. It was a snap pick for him, we call it. He took him instantly. Like that. 4.30 to go. Both these guys trying to win their first belt ever. Noah's trying to do it in his first ever event. He's played a lot through the years, but never gotten to this point when you're on the big stage. Now here he is with a chance to make history. You saw those list of champions. Noah was one years old when that first Madden Challenge tournament was taking place, and now here he is trying to put himself in that exclusive fraternity of Madden Challenge belt when it's three minutes and 48 seconds away from the glory, but Clef the God stands in his way. And there is Chris Johnson. Make it to the 15-yard line. Inside the red zone. As I mentioned, even a score here would just make it an eight-point game. Still be a one-score game unless he goes for two. So first and ten now. That clock is tick, tick, ticking away on Clef the God. I form one more time. And to Chris Johnson, gets to the outside, gets away from one. Maybe got a yard. This clock management from Noah, I, I keep talking about it, but it's just so impressive. This, you know, kind of giving Clef the Peyton Manning treatment where, you know, offenses would just, you know, do whatever they could to keep the ball out of his hands. He is just picking up first downs, ensuring Clef is going to have such a limited amount of possessions which is really going to put the pressure on Clef when he gets back on offense. Noah is a huge Carson Wentz fan. 
And Chris Johnson, that's close to the first down. Looked like he got it. First and goal from the four. How many first downs does he have on this drive, Scott? It, it, it's ridiculous. He's looking to set a record out here. Smart timeout there by Clef to stop it with 231. He would have been taking it all the way down to the two-minute warning. That's a good call out, Scott. And Chris Johnson fighting. And they'll stand him up at the three. And there's the second timeout for Clef the God. What these timeouts are meaning, though, Scott, is when Clef gets the ball back, he's going to be all in on that drive. He'll be on the money drive. The question is, will he need the touchdown to take the lead or the tie? And we're going to find out in these next few plays here. Hands it off one more time, and his defense stands up. We are going to have a third and goal from the two. Can he hold the door? Yeah, for all my Game of Thrones fans, this is a hold the door type of moment. That goal line is the door. The question is, can Clef hold it or not? I formation one more time. Chris Johnson will dot the I on a key. Third down, they hand it to him. Let's go! And he gets one in stop. there! One stop, end this! One stop, end this, man! Let's go! Touchdown, Noah! And he will kick the Come PAT. On, the lead will be eight. Stop, Look man. at this emotion. Look at this emotion from Noah. Like he's letting you know one stop away from being go able to him. pick that Come belt on. up. Go hit him. Walk Someone away with the 35K. Him. Look at him. He's going nuts up there. Cuff the guy. Ooh. Nice return. Take a big hit at the 29. Look at it one more time. Just could not stop him. Oh, uh, Clef trying to get his Hodor on. And Noah it. says, uh -uh, I'm the White Walkers and we're getting this. in. One stop end this, man. And like he says, one stop ends this, Scott. Clef is all in on this drive. It's Madden Challenge life on the line. $35,000, that belt. This is what it's all about. Winston will take off. Got a block, but decides to slide down. And that'll take us through the two minute warning. Two minutes to go, eight point ball game. He's got no timeouts to work with. He said, Scott, he's got to get the touchdown and he's going to have to go for the two point conversion to tie this up. But first things first, touchdown is what you need. How many times have these belts come down to the final drive? Look at our little guys, right? We might have some future Madden Challenge champions sitting right there in the front row the future I'm telling you Noah's come out of nowhere here Go and he's 125 away from maybe winning his first belt in his first live event Noah continues to land these user hit sticks that's just elite level matter when you have the stick work to just go over there and bing them the way Noah is that's something special if you had to pick a teenager on Tuesday that we thought would make a run it Certainly we thought it'd be the Phenom Henry, but Noah has that, been the one. But that's the beautiful thing about the MCS. One minute, nobody knows your name. Nobody knows who you are. The next minute, you're playing on ESPN in front of a live crowd for the 35K, that coveted belt. It's what competitive gaming and esports is all about, and it's why it's becoming so popular. The opportunities it gives these young men, there's nothing else like it. 104 to go. Left the God at the 44 yard line. He's a score and a two point conversion. Steps up, gets it to the outside. The Maybe a blessing for Cleft that it's an incomplete pass and the clock stops. Would have lost a lot of time there. He would have. It's definitely a blessing for that ball to get dropped and stop this clock with 59 seconds. This is the nitty gritty. Noah could probably taste that belt. He knows he's just two stops away from ending this ball game. But Clef, he's a competitor. He's got all the fight in the world in him. Winston takes off, slides down. Watch for the runoff. Takes us all the way down to 36 seconds now. He cannot the stop the clock. Fourth and five. Has to pick up the first down. They cover A. He throws it oh anyway. Gosh, and Reed hauls it in. And the crowd is feeling that one. They, you were thinking the game's going to be over. Clef says, no, let me get Dottie. Get out of bounds. Keep my tournament life alive. 
And here we go. First and 10 now from the 28. And that's how many seconds he has as well. Cannot get tackled in bounds. Yeah, Clef, this is scary territory. Noah's so good at clicking on, but if anyone's built to make plays like this, it's Clef, a.k.a. Clutch the God. Watch out for Tyreek. He got bumped. And Winston will just use his legs to run out of bounds. That'll stop the clock inside the red zone. Now at the 18-yard line. You can cut the tension in here with the knife, Scott. The crowd looking on. You feel like they're ready to erupt if Clef can make a play here. And you know Noah's going to erupt if he makes the play to end this game. This is the definition of mom spaghetti time. Those palms are sweaty. 21 seconds to go. Winston, one more time. Cannot take a sack. And he'll throw it away. 17 ticks left. Very smart of Clef to throw that ball away. To do that, you simply click in the right stick. That's going to have your quarterback just chuck it out of bounds. Doesn't force anything downfield. And lives to fight another down. Third and one. Ball at the 18-yard line. Zero timeouts for Clef. Both of these guys trying to win their first belt. And that's a special one when you talk about the challenge. Buying some time. Has to throw it away again. And now it's fourth down with 10 seconds to go. Here we go. This could be a $10,000 play in John Madden football. Both of these guys guaranteed themselves $25,000. Winner of this game makes $35,000. So what a stop here. And don't forget, both these guys are going to be in the Madden Bowl coming up in April. You do not want to miss it. That's when the top 16 players over the last three majors come in to try to win the whole thing, the championship. Here we go. Fourth and one. Ten seconds. Ball at the 18 for Clef the God. Maybe his final chance. Noah, the 17-year-old, trying to hold strong. Bunch to the left. He'll motion out Parker. Clef the God. Looking, firing for the end zone, and it's picked off. And Noah's going to win the belt, swagging around. And Noah has done it. He is your Madden NFL 20 Challenge Champion. The youngster in his first live event cashes in. So much in. defense, man! So much defense! As he goes over there, he bends the knee. If you didn't know his name before, you're going to know his name now. You have young 17-year-old Noah as he hoists that belt. Give him a round of applause. That young man just fought his heart out for that 35K and that opportunity to be called the Madden Challenge Champion. No one gave him a chance, and now he is the one at the top of the mountain. It is Noah in a 14-6 win. And I tell you, Clef the God battled through this entire tournament, but just came up short against that Chris Johnson of Noah. But it was really the defense, RG. His defensive stick work was some of the best we've ever seen. When you got guys like Young Dreeny saying, man, I wish I could hit stick like him, you know you're something special. And you know what? You just did something special, Young Noah. And we can't wait to see you play at the Madden Ball. But for now, enjoy that championship because you know what? You deserve it, young man. Well, he's won the belt, and more importantly, he's hanging out with Evan. Thank you so much, Scott. All right, let's give one more round of applause to our Madden Challenge <laughs> champion, <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Noah, there's a ton of things to talk about here. Uh, the first question is, how does it feel to be a belt winner at 17 years old? Feels amazing, man. Can't believe it. I mean, that was a great game. Shout out to Clef. That was a really great game. Shout out to CJ2K, bring me a belt. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you know, uh, when I was uh, 17 years old, I was I was basically signing up for loans to go to UCLA and play soccer there. You are just starting college, and you just won $35,000 in about five days. How does that feel, man, just for your future and for everything that's so bright coming forward for you? Well, I mean, the way the tournament started, it started out rough. So, I mean, this is, this is, this is amazing. Yeah. Young man, big dreams as well. You said so much defense every single time you stood up. What does that mean to you? And let's see what that defense looked like in the wall. Walk us through it. I mean, I had the cover four out there, outside quarter, and uh, I made him up so he couldn't throw the quick wheel. And yeah, that was it. I mean, I couldn't stop Dagger the whole day. I mean, <laughs> Trey White Flex, I couldn't stop it. I just stopped him <laughs> in the red zone, so. You found a way to celebrate after there. Yeah, yeah listen, I do. Listen, Noah, uh, you know, I, I like to travel a lot with my father. He, he joins me a lot of times. You have somebody very special with you, uh, traveling with you. She's actually, I think, right over there, yeah. uh, your mother. Yeah, How much does that mean to you? It's huge that she's here with me. And then I'll also shout out my, uh, my family at home, Ava, uh, Skyler, and my dad, Rob. So, I mean, shout out them because they've always been looking for the shout out. So, shout out them. <laughs> shout out Ava. Pass your bedtime, go to sleep. <laughs> You got it on tape in a lot of ways. The live audience is here. They've been watching you. Uh, it, you obviously just give your shout outs at home, but you are the youngest Madden belt winner in MCS history. Can we get one more round of applause? <laughs> history right here. <laughs> no one ever did it. You know, our champion for the Madden NFL 20 challenge. Noah, let's get it back to the guys on the desk. Evan Rayner, thank you so much. You know, I, I take a look at what 